Good boy. You stay in here, good boy. Good boy. Pick karate. Wow, cut the board. Hey, ready? <laughs> no, I'm. Come on. Okay. Ow! Okay, here, let me, ah, just stop, 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 you're ripping your, oh, you just ripped a hole in this. <gasps> this is totally like what happens when two people who know nothing about construction, anything else, try to run out an RV. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So Charity went to the store and gave me a little task list of things to do out at the RV. We're cranking up the lights now So everyone can see It's all happening right now We're gonna make you believe it's So next piece of furniture to come out is this couch. We're thinking about replacing it, but I think that we might keep it just because of the whole vent situation underneath it and then possibly replace the dinette with a new piece of furniture from RecPro in the dinette versus getting a couch. So RecPro, by the way, has a ton of RV furniture options. And I didn't even realize that they made replacement dinettes until I was looking on their website today because we reached out to Rec Pro to just tell them what we were doing and to see what options that they had. When I saw that they had dinettes, I really started feeling like, well, maybe the dinette is going to be the better option as far as, you know, if we're gonna replace furniture in here because this particular couch at least still has space for sleeping. And knowing that our kids are getting at the place where they're gonna to wanna to be bringing friends along and stuff, I hate to lose anything that could be used for sleeping space. So look at this, this is ridiculous. I was working on taking out this dinette and two screws here, two screws there on the back wall. I'm thinking, okay, I've got it, but there's still like, look, you can still see there's something holding it on. So I found it, there's a screw right here. But I don't know if I can get back there without taking this off. So I've got to take off one, two, three, four, five screws to take this off to get to this one screw that's still holding this on. Like that's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen. So as I'm pulling out all of the different screws and things like that that are in this dinette, I am making sure that I'm putting them into these buckets. So we've got these buckets on the counter that we're putting the bolts and screws and things like that into because if we need to use them again or just if we want to repurpose anything at all then we've got all of those to be able to repurpose we know that they work so these screws that I'm pulling up out of the slide then I at least know that they're safe to go back into the slide whenever we put a different dinette in here or if we end up keeping the same dinette I'm hoping we can just replace it but uh, we'll see how all of that works out. Yeah, okay. I like to do things the way I do things. Mm -hmm. And when I do things, I like to do things the way I do things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's good. So we're gonna be doing some more demo today. Where we are as of right now is we've got the dinette gone, the jackknife sofa gone, the J couch is out in the garage at the moment. Yep. Um, we ordered, and I'm really excited for this, a new dinette from Rec Pro that is just built way better. It's yeah. gonna have way better storage. So I'm super excited when that comes in to be able to show you guys that. Um, especially if you have an older rig, you're considering maybe buying an older rig and doing some reno and updating. 
Rec Pro has got awesome options to be able to put new furniture in. The one that's gonna come in has way better storage and I'm excited for you to see how that is and what that looks like. So make sure that you're subscribed for our video that we're gonna have upcoming on how different that this particular booth dinette is for storage from Rec Pro. So today, more stuff coming out because the next step is painting. So we need to get all the flooring out. Carpet. Carpet, tile, the whatever. Linoleum I don't that's know down what this is. currently. Whatever this is. <laughs> uh, it all needs to come out because then the next steps is going to be painting and then installing the new floor so then we can put the new bunk on the new floor. Yeah. And that it's all set in place and ready to go there so and as far as flooring goes we're thinking about two different types of flooring and i think we've narrowed it down to what we want we thought about yeah. doing the snap together and we also thought about the linoleum right like a roll out sheet the rollout. Vinyl. and the rollout sheet is a lot lighter even though we're in a diesel we're not going to really have a weight issue but uh, it's a lot lighter than the snap together so i think we're going to go with the rollout the other thing too that we've been researching and maybe you can let us know in the comments below if you have any feedback if you've done the vinyl plank flooring in your rig or been in one that's had it done is that over time just because these rigs move so much and they have so much flex that it could separate sometimes and so we've seen about half uh, but the people it seems like that we've researched that have done that that have said it didn't hold up over time um and then maybe the other half has been like it's been so far so good the other thing that we were looking at is as far as new rvs what they put in most of the new rvs is some sort of rollout, rollout sheet linoleum. vinyl which makes sense from a weight perspective right so and it looks good so. yeah so i think that's what we're gonna go with yeah, that might be harder than actually there's a big old Oh wow, that's a huge old nut holding it down. Holding it down. <clears throat> Let me cut that part out. Okay. The wires. Oh, I need the wires. Yeah, we'll have to cut a hole. Cut this. Look at this. Okay. There's actually some glue around these wires holding the carpet. Um, holding the carpet to the wires. So now that we've cut that, I'm going to just pull all this up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Maybe. Maybe I think there's a bolt there again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Just pull it. Right over here, Daddy. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. And it's filthy. So you tear up the carpet, and there's this dirt and grime that has filtered down into the carpet or into the padding, and it's pretty disgusting. So it's definitely going to be a lot cleaner and sanitary not having this carpet uh, laid down in this rig. So looking forward to getting the carpet and pad out of here. This is a lot of carpet. This is pretty heavy. And more carpet. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take that down to the curb and the nice thing about Florida is on Mondays they pick up any of your trash that you lay on the curb so we can really throw anything that we're not needing in the RV onto the curb and they'll take it away. We've run into a little bit of an issue here. What we've discovered is is that the carpet underneath of one of the slides as far as where it's tacked down is actually held together by a strip with screws that is in it and there is absolutely unequivocally no way to get this out unless that you actually took like the slide out of the rig we're not 100 percent sure what the workaround's gonna look like but we're gonna see what we can 
do and go from there. Just, you know, you can only do what you can do, right? So that's where yeah. we're at. So we took a break from tearing up carpet and staples and we made a little trip down to Ikea. Was able to get a sitter for the kit. So the mission today is going to be to look for some, these bookshelf things to put on the bunks we're building for the kids. To look for these spice racks that we wanna get to be able to actually use for like cell phone storage and put the cell phones in. And then we're gonna measure couches to see if the couches that they have here will or won't work for one of the spaces that we took one of the couches out. We kept it, we can reuse it, but we just wanna see if one of these will work in that space or not. It's kind of a small space, but hey, this is Ikea. This is what they specialize in. So we'll take you in with us and let you know. The depth on this one is 36 and a quarter, and we cannot have more than 31 inches for the space that we need. So I am really thinking we're gonna probably have to just reuse the RV specific couch that we have because it really is built for that narrower slide, but we'll keep looking. Okay, so this should be the section that I need to find the things that I need to find because we're in the kids section. So I'm going to start looking. Shirt, there's a shirt. I have found what I need and it is the Ikea Nissat. So this right here is a little bookshelf thing that mounts to the wall, except for you're gonna mount these to the bunk beds. But the nice thing about these too is they're raw wood and so I'm gonna be painting the bunk. So I'll actually just paint this with the same paint that I'm gonna paint the bunks with and it'll just match and blend in perfectly. I don't need the Valmora. Valmora. The cloven, I don't need a cloven. A Hina. These dragonfly lights. But oh, here are these the, the morph rod. So, mission mostly accomplished. Got the bookcases to put on the end of the kids' bunk bed. Did not find the spice tracks that I was hoping to find, but that's okay. I will continue to search for those elsewhere. Maybe Amazon, not sure. But the main thing that we came for secured. So, we're gonna check out and then we're keeping track of all of the costs. So, we will know at the end of this exactly how much this RV renovation costs. And uh, we're doing out of very tight budget. So we'll go over our exact expenses at the end of the renovation and share that with you all. All right, so we got the seats uh, unscrewed. I actually had to crawl up underneath the rig and hold one of the wrenches while Charity cranked on it up here. I'm under here with all the tires and the grease and the, there's the air bags. And I'm holding this wrench, this bolt on this side while she cranks on it up there. So now that we've unplugged the seat heater and all the wires, it should come up now. So let's give it a shot. Oh, oh, oh. yep, here we go. So we're good. Oh, the only thing I need to detach though is this uh, seat belt. So one thing that uh, is easy to do is when you're starting to take everything apart, you just start tearing everything apart and you're, you lose track of what goes with what. So what we decided to do here is put all the parts and components in bags and all the nuts and everything with the items that we took apart. So when we do go to put it back together, it's all with, um, with the unit. All right, there's a seatbelt. Okay, here, let me, ah! No, stop, 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 you're ripping your, oh, you just ripped a hole in this. Oh, crap. Yeah, 
Dang it. Darn, I did poke a little hole in it. But there's a little putty that we can get to kind of cover that up so that, that won't be a huge deal. And then, you got it? Okay. Okay. This is definitely a two person job. Holy cow, I cannot believe how heavy this thing is. Really shows you how much weight is uh, put in these things. So thank goodness I've got a big diesel engine to, to haul it, but man, the thing is heavy. Okay, so now it's time to pull up this sub floor here. So what it looks like there is, there's tiles on the top of the sub that are gonna snap in on top of the sub floor. So what I'm gonna do is peel up the tiles first, then the sub floor after that. So the thing about the sub floor is it's, it's glued down. So it's gonna be a little difficult to get up. So let's go ahead and and I think what we've decided, there's a couple of anomalies here. We've got like this island thing in the kitchen that sticks out. So what we're gonna do on that is we're definitely gonna have to we're have to cut around that as best we can and leave that subfloor in place because of the height and then just the way that the slide comes in over this island piece that is how Discovery made these. But then what we've decided we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this tile because it's it's a nice like snap together type of tile. It's not problematic. It's really easy to clean and everything. So we're gonna leave that in the bathroom and right in front of the shower. And so we'll stop the vinyl flooring right there where there's a nice straight line to transition that. I realize that you're wanting to become more minimalist. I'm wanting to become more minimalist. Yeah. So picture this. Pic picture that island gone. No. Uh-uh. No, that island's not going away. And uh -uh. how much space it would make in here. It's not going to make any more space. I'm losing that upper cabinet space. I have to have that cabinet space. And you, you know how it is the last three years when we're traveling that counter that extra counter space gets used all the yeah. time you know what it gets used for collecting no it gets used for my junk. instant pot and it gets used for like cooking stuff bona fide mm. cooking stuff i i knew this was gonna happen what about putting no. in a dishwasher no here this is where we're going to build the bunks which means we've got to lose this upper cabinet here so we're in the process of trying to figure this out this is totally like what happens when two people who know nothing about construction anything else, try to run an RV so there's electrical <laughs> that's in here 
there is an outlet and there's a light. And so we're trying to make sure that we can reuse those if we want. And also just trying to figure out like kind of what is going where before we just start ripping things out <laughs> as Ben's ripping things out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's happening at the moment over here. And then we'll be trying to kind of figure out where the mounting points are. Got it. Thick karate. <laughs> Cut the board. All right, ready? <laughs> no, I'm- Come on. Okay. Here, let me do it with my knee, right? No! Hey. Ow! Ow! I knew that wasn't gonna go well, but... Man! These are all cabinet screws here that holds it on pretty tight. Careful, 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 careful. I feel like if you could get that piece out of the way. Yeah, well, oh, there's this trim here. Are you filming this? Hold on, leave that up. Ah! Where's that piece? Are you okay? Yeah, my foot luckily wasn't there. Oh, good. Oh, how lucky for you that none of your body parts were in the way. Yeah, right? It seems like that a common theme sometimes with these RV renovations, and we've seen this from other people that have renovated their RV, is you get into an area to start prepping for something and you run into more damage, and then it's like you have to stop and fix that before you can move forward. So I came out here to prep for paint and um, noticed we had some bubbling and some wallpaper. And so started digging into that and there, is water damage all along this wall around this slide. Now, probably a month ago, knowing that we were gonna do some reno, Ben completely went up on the roof and just kind of resealed everything on the roof. We knew we had a skylight leaking in the bathroom, so he resealed that. And he just went kind of over the whole roof to make sure everything looked like it was good and sealed up. And so we know like, that we did that. We're just not sure where that this is coming from because you can tell that this is obviously like, this has been damaged for like a while, but then it's moist again. We did have rain a few days ago. So obviously it got wet again then after a rainstorm, but since Ben's already resealed the roof, it's like anybody's guess as to where it's coming in at this point. So we're gonna have to kind of figure that out. And we're also gonna have to take this out and we're gonna have to get some new wood to put in here and then paint over the new wood. I'm gonna be pulling this out now, but then tomorrow, Ben's gonna have to get up on the roof with the hose and we're gonna have to just start water testing to see if we can't figure out where that the problem area is before that we repair this completely and then just get a new piece of wood soap. Brace yourself, things about to get wild. Relax yourself, release yourself. Things about to get wild. Things about to get wild. Things about to get wild. I already peeled half of the dog test. You're too nice. late. Nice. You're too late. What are you recording for? Are you having fun destroying things? Yep. Okay, so today we are ripping up this subfloor right here. So, got a pretty good piece of it that I need to rip up. So, got a crowbar and a hammer. So we're just kind of whittling it away piece by piece. most of this tile that was in the galley behind me um, up. We have one very small tile that's being extremely stubborn. 
cannot figure out how to get it out. So I'm done with painting the bedroom. Woohoo! So I found the area where the leak's coming in. So I'm gonna get some mineral spirits, a rag, and uh, gonna go wipe it up. So today is a big day, I hope. Um, today should be the day we get our flooring in. Yeah.